Virgo, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Here we go. Let's roll. Let's roll right into it. We're going to do your oracle card spread first. And then there's always an extended link below if you so choose to go visit the extended link. There's some good stuff over there. That's a full tarot card spread and a romance reading for the next seven days. Virgo, all of these readings are about the next seven days. Seven days out for you, Virgo energy. Virgo, sun, moon, rising sign, or wherever Virgo energy influences your chart, these energies will play out for you for the next seven days so you can apply it to those, those aspects of your, those placements in your chart. Now, understand that if it does not fit, please don't try to squeeze it. You are not Cinderella's stepsister. It didn't work out for them either. If it doesn't fit, don't try to squeeze it. You're just going to get hurt doing it. So let's see what your crowning energy is right here. Ah, oh, Virgo energy. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Let's do one more time to see if we get anything that flips out. I'm gonna... Crowning energy just flipped out. This is the energy. Okay. It's an interesting energy. Sweet results await. Oh, this is seven card. So this is still in the midst of doing very, very hard work. Yes, there's abundance in your life, but you're feeling exhausted and you're feeling, you're just feeling exhausted and you're feeling tired. Um, you're feeling the exertion of working so hard, but you're also being illuminated about how important this work is and how much you want to keep doing it. But it's, it's affecting you physically. There's a, is, there's a physical effect this week, an effect of physical exhaustion on something that is coming to fruition. So even though you have that spiritual illumination and you have that feeling of I'm getting somewhere, you know that good stuff is happening, but there is a feeling of being drained, of being in the midst of building what you know is going to be something very beautiful. It's so ironic that I just saw a video on, on Beyonce, who's Queen Bee. And this is the, Vir she's a Virgo. Beyonce is a Virgo. Um, and as so many Virgos are so attached to music, that's not a surprise. Um, so many amazing uh, musicians are Virgos. Uh, Amy Winehouse was a Virgo. Freddie Mercury was a Virgo. Pink is a Virgo. Beyonce is a Virgo. I'm sure you guys know a lot more. But there's, there's, Virgo and music is so intimately connected. And music has played a big role in all of my readings. And so all of a sudden this just comes out, Queen Bee just comes out, top of the reading. This is that feeling of sort of physical exertion and exhaustion. Um, you're, you're, there's a, a, an essence underneath this of, I wanna slow down, I wanna relax, I just wanna take some time out. Not because you, not because you want to give up. This isn't about giving up because, like I said, spiritually, you know that things are moving in the right direction. And there's gratitude here, but there is a sense that you, 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 you feel yourself barrel rolling, and you're starting to feel like getting like beaten up every time you hit the ground as it rolls, you know. And there's a sense of really wanting to take a little bit of a respite or a little bit of a break over that sometime over the next seven days. This is the energy learned from the past. So it could very well be that these two energies are working simultaneously. This is an energy that says, listen, I know that I've been here before. So, so in other words, it's in the reflection on the past that you're gaining two things. You're getting the insight that says, I have a right to just take a second because when I have exerted myself too much in the past, I have broken and I have, I have hurt myself and that's not what I want to do. So I now have the wisdom based on my experiences to know that I not only should, but I absolutely need to give myself a little bit of a break because I'm feeling those same things coming up, those same red flags that are starting to whip near my ear. They're not smacking me in the face yet, but they're sort of whipping in my ear and I've heard that sound before. So I need to slow the f down right now. I just need to take a second because I want this abundance to keep being abundant and I don't want it to break. This is also the wisdom of realizing how abundant you have it right now, of, of realizing 
um, how to have gratitude and, and be grateful and be grateful for what's happening in your life right now, even if there is physical exhaust, exhaustion, to know how lucky you are to have these opportunities and have this abundance that's coming into your life. Um, two plus five is seven, two seven cards. So this is all about creation and manifestation. See, 25, 2 plus 5 equals 7, and this is the actual 7 card. Um, so this is the sun card in my deck, right? Um, this is about progress. 7 card in the traditional tarot. It doesn't have to perfectly align, but that's the chariot card. So it's about making progress, right? This could also be a statement of by the summertime, the abundance is going to have come. It's going to have come to fruition. The hard work will be paying off. Let's get into the reading. All right, Virgo, B, this is your energy showing up at the top of your reading right out. Unconditional love and support, caring for something, nurturing for something, nurturing something, loving something could be a younger person or a younger version of yourself or having learned from your past and learned from where you've been. This is one plus eight, which is nine. One plus eight, nine means coming to the end of a cycle. It's it's coming to an end. It's a gentle end. It's a happy, it's, 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 it's almost like growing up. That moment just before you grow up, it's like those realizations start to come in, you know, and you're not young anymore. You're not young mentally anymore. It's like you've, you've learned some lessons. You still have some maturing to do. You still have some growth to do, but you're on the verge of sort of that, that, that bridge between youth and not old age, but like youth and maturity. So it's this gentle loss of innocence, this awakening that is not loss of innocence, like a tragic loss of innocence, but it's a loss of innocence as in now you understand things better. Now you get things better. Um, um, yeah, there, there's an energy of there's a little bit of melancholy. I do have to say a little bit of melancholy coming through for you this week, but it's not that something bad's happening. It's actually going like things are things are going pretty well for you. I think maybe you just need a hug. You just need somebody to hug you or you just need to I can just feel you like this week just needed to hold on to somebody, like hug them. Maybe hug your kid because they're growing up too fast. That's the kind of energy. It's like nothing's wrong, but it's like how is this happening so fast? How is this passing by so fast? And maybe even if you're experiencing wonderful things happening to you, there's an energy of remembering all the struggle and all the hard work um, and, and thinking, wow, is this moment actually here? That kind of energy of, holy crap, like you, ne you like never really saw yourself able to be out of the struggle, right? And, and um you just sort of learn to appreciate the abundance for, for how hard you had to work for it and where it came from. Okay, use your mind wisely. Um, bring a gentle touch and use your mind wisely. This is about discernment and about consideration. Um, this is about being responsible, but also like basically curbing yourself, curbing your ambitions, um, cur curbing your judgments, but also you know, being wise, like, like allowing your brain to help you here and, and, and help you see, um, hold on. My dog is a little bit, oh, kisses. What are you doing? Stop. This is about allowing your, allowing your brain to be broadened, allowing your brain to be expanded. This is about, what did I just say? Something that you thought would never happen. This is when, this is my this is this card for me is when pigs fly right so something that you thought was impossible is now happening you know and it's almost it's like it's like that melancholy feeling of you know when you want your children to walk you can't wait for them to take their first step um or if you're younger than that you can't wait to graduate from high school because it's just like the most exciting thing but then when you do there's this thud of the real world hitting you know there's this thud of melancholy about, oh, but I miss holding them all the time. I miss, I miss, um, you know, I miss them needing me so much. I miss them not running away and, and like getting lost in the middle of Walmart. You know, like there's that energy of, yes, you want this benchmark. You can't wait to reach it. You almost thought it would never happen. And yet here you are and it's happening. And there's just like this reminiscent moment of all the work it took for you to get there. See the big picture. This is very grounded energy, Taurus energy. This is you not letting yourself fly off the deep end or get too emotional. 
But listen, Virgo, especially with this full moon coming up on Friday, emotions are running extremely high. So allow those emotions to wash over you. And I think especially for these next three days, take some time out. You don't want to try, you don't want to push yourself or judge yourself or push yourself too hard through this. You want to keep your eyes on the prize, which is the near distant future. You want to see what's in front of you, but you want to stay very, very grounded and just allow this sort of wave to wash over you right now. Remember the best way, the only way to really deal with a wave is to dive under it, right? You don't try to jump over it. You let it roll over you. And that's what's gonna need to happen over the next couple of days, especially for you guys. Claim your independence. So this is a sense of cats, cats being around, reminding you how to like live in the moment, be in the present moment. Um, think about the here and now. Also a sense of, I don't know, uh, maybe you not being needed so much, you know, uh, like like uh, you having a little bit more freedom and a little bit more, um, you know, t time to spare. And it's almost like you don't know at this point, you don't know what to do with your time because because something that was taking up a lot of your time, something that you had been working on very hard is coming to an end and it's beautiful and it's wonderful. But at the same time, it's like, well, how do I fill up my how do I fill up the space in my life that's been left by this change? You know, this 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 subject, this um, person, this this project coming to fruition. There's about to be a lot more time for you and enjoy yourself. And I'm wondering, Virgo, if you remember how. Life is a mystery. Something about something being masked, something that's being hit, like a like not not. But this is not a malefic type of hidden. This is a uh, something that you don't understand. Like it's almost like a it's like the mystery of life, like the a puzzle. It's almost like you're in awe and wonder of these things happening to you. You almost feel like something magical is happening to you because something that you something has finally come to fruition that you thought would never come to fruition. That that feeling of feeling magic of of actually feeling it happen. This is an eight, the energy of destiny. Um, uh, it's the number right after seven, which is the number right after creation, which means it's it's right before creation, which means it's direction, it's fate, it's destiny. It's coming right before, it always runs right before creation, right? So there's this energy for you, Virgo, of just um, feeling it and being aware of your connection to, it's like, Something over the next seven days is going to make you stick, sit back and just be like, wow, you know, like that's the feeling I feel you feeling and I want you to let yourself feel it. It's something that's necessary for you to experience and not try to push through. Tran Truth transcends illusion. This is a, uh, no, my puppy will get into everything. Sorry for the interruption. I apologize. So there's an energy of truth transcend, but this is this is about maturity again. This is about the the dragonfly maturing from the larva. This is about um, this is about transcendence. In other words, this isn't just about this is about your true self coming out, of finding that truth in your path, of actually feeling like you've arrived at your true life at where you're supposed to be, but at the same time, that thud in your gut of, all I could think of was how it would feel when I got here. And now when I'm here, it's almost sideswiping me. I love that energy for you. I really do. Uh, sing your own song. What did I tell you? I told you that music from the beginning, music was gonna play a huge role in this reading. This is about connectivity. This is about reconnecting to yourself and sharing yourself out loud. This is about being in a place finally, maybe for the first time in a long time, where you can sing your song or listen to your music or relax or just share your true personality or finding that thing in your life where you feel connected, like you actually feel that there's purpose, like feeling that feeling of true connectivity. And this is why this lull is happening in your life. Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. This is about feeling truly connected again to the point where you can open yourself up 
to criticism, to vulnerability, to you, it doesn't matter. This is that wonderful freedom that's coming back because you found yourself again. Getting back to yourself, to what you really love doing. Okay, grounding your energy this week is trust in divine detours, especially this full moon. It's I feel like for you it's going to be emotional detours that are coming up. Let it, please just let it roll over you, Virgo. Um, but also, this is the energy of creation. So whatever comes up that is unexpected, let it happen, please. Because this is a direction you're supposed to go. Give with gratitude and grace. This is a very Virgo energy. Actually, it's Libra energy. No, 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 no. No, okay, it's about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving actually happens in um, Sagittarius. So, no, 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 it depends on when it falls, right? Uh, it could be Scorpio or Sagittarius. This is about, okay, something that you have given your whole self to, like a turkey gives its life for the feast. I'm just going to say it right there. This is, once again, the energy of six plus one and one plus six, both adding up to seven. Virgo, this is something that you've created, an energy that you've created, something that you've been working on, a project that you've been working on, something that you have, something that's meant the world to you, that, that you wanted, that you prayed for, that you manifested with spirit. Now you see it moving forward. You see it having a future. You almost see it taking off on its own, if that makes any sense. It's like it finally spreading its wings and flying. And that's why you don't have to devote as much time, right? But you're like, but wait, what do I do with myself now? Because, you know, I, it's not that you're, it's not that the relationship or the project is totally over, but it's gotten to a point of peace. Like you could spread your wings and the, oh, what is this? Wait, what is this? I've tried so hard. I've worked so hard to flap, flap, flap and fly, fly, fly. I've fallen so many times and this, wait, what is this? The wind is actually holding me up this time and like, it's this feeling of, well, what do I do when I'm not doing so much? When it actually works out and that's receive. Like let yourself be filled up. Let that wave wash over you. Don't try to fight. Just roll with this and let it happen to you. Hold on. Let me turn the camera around. So here we go. This is you showing up in your own energy. It's almost like a moment in your life where you never thought would happen, where you actually get the peace of being able to enjoy <clears throat> and live in the moment. And connect to a deeper part of yourself to mature and to grow and blossom into what you were really meant to be, which is something that can fly, Virgo. This is your attachment to the air. This is your mutable energy really coming out. This is your ability to connect Right, your ability to soar above things and see more and, and actually experience something broader. Maybe through your creative energy or your, your creative potential. Finding your voice and finding your song. This is give with gratitude and grace. Something that you, this is your grounding energy, okay? So something that you have literally given your life for is changing. It's not changing in a bad way. It's taking a detour and it's growing, but it's growing away from you, which it's supposed to do. But it's leaving, leaving time for you to actually take a second. Take a second and just enjoy yourself or take a respite, getting a break after really, really hard work. I still think there's more work to do, but this is almost like a reminiscence of, look how far I've come, recognizing the magic that is existing and happening in your life. This is definitely the closing or accumulation, accumulate, uh, uh, um, culmination, that's the word I was looking for, culmination of an amazing period in your life um, that you're probably going to look back on with a little bit of melancholy and sadness, but also a great deal of happiness. I'm going to complete, your, let me, I'm going to go into your extended reading, Virgo, we're going to go deeper into um, like what's coming towards you and what your future is going to bring uh, at least over the next seven days. And then I'm also going to do your romance reading. So that link is below Virgo. I'll see you over on the extended.